Hey, everybody. So welcome to Sleepy Hollow, the play. For two months, the students have been practicing, and some of the students have helped do all the props and the painting. It's really been a long thing, and without their help, this play would not have happened. All right, so you ready? If you could go back in time, you would find in the low hills of New England a hidden little town called Sleepy Hollow. Many local scary tales are told about this area, but the most popular tale regards a local traveling school teacher. Some say his spirit still is seen in the area. He was an unusual man. If you see him walking alone, you might mistake him for a scarecrow escaped from a cornfield. He was tall, skinny, his head was flat on top with a long nose. He was extremely funny looking. is Mr. Baltus Van Tossel. This way, sir. <laughs> Who's afraid of the town witch? Who's afraid of the town witch? learn some manners. Stop arguing, please. You know, I want to enjoy this time. Who are you? I am the new school teacher. My name is Ichabod Crane. So you're going to be here for the night? Please show him to his room. All right, everyone, gather around. Gather around. I want to thank everyone for coming. And so we're going to have a good night. Okay? So please let everyone know in the town that we have a new school teacher, please. Thank you, Reverend. We're going to have a meeting. Have a seat and let me introduce you to my friends and some of the most important people in town. Would you like some tea on this cold night? Yes, please. We're each going to introduce ourselves to you. My name is James Hardenbrook, and I'm the notary. 
Yes, I would like some tea, thank you. And my name is Samuel Phillips, and I'm the town judge. And my name is Reverend Steen Rick. And my name is Thomas Lancaster. And I'm the town doctor. We ask to speak to you tonight before you start your job to tell you of strange things happening here. There's a ghost, a headless horseman, He was a German soldier hired by the English to fight against the Americans. He loved to kill. He rode a giant black horse in battle. His teeth are sharp, like nails. He carried a huge sword he used to chop off heads. He was finally killed in the winter of 79 near here. He was buried under a large tree. The Americans chopped off his head and burned it. Now he is returned and looking for a head. You mean you really believe this tale? Just be careful and don't be alone at night. He's the classroom as his kingdom. He's the ruler in the classroom. He also uses this time to daydream about the girl that gave him a kiss. Katrina. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me. Don't forget, tonight is your night to come and eat supper at our house, Teacher Crane. Of course, son. Dinner is important. To help make enough money to support himself, he teaches dance to the local young ladies. Iggy has also decided he wants to marry Katrina because her father is rich and she will get all of his money when he dies. Braun is a very jealous of Iggy and begins to tease him. He knows that Iggy is very scared of things that go bump in the night. So he decided when there's a shadow, he's afraid. Katrina, 
Let's show these young ladies a new dance. You all know that Icky is scared of everything. Let's give him a good scare. I have a fake spider. We will put it on a string and pull it across the floor. First, he will ask Katrina to let us come in and watch the dancing so maybe we can learn something. Ready? What do you and your buddies want? What are you doing here? We thought we would come and watch the expert dancer at work. Who knows, maybe we can pick up a few tips so we can be ready for the spring dance. Katrina knew that Braun was jealous of Iggy, so to keep him jealous, Katrina made sure that Iggy received a special invitation to the Von Tossel Halloween party. Do you want some more food? Help yourself. Okay, everyone, everyone, let's all gather around. It's now time for Halloween stories. Scary Halloween stories. Who wants to go first? Gather around and let me tell you what happens when it gets late. Ghosts and banshees get together for their nightly jamboree. There are things with horns, some with huge eyes, and some with fangs about this size. Some are fat and some are thin. Some don't have a skin. It is frightening what happens Halloween night. Of all the spirits roaming the night, the headless horseman is the worst. As he rides all of the other ghosts vanish, he rides alone holding his head. They say he is tired of his flaming top. He wants to make a swap, so he rides one night each year to look for a head in the valley. He likes head, little or big, hair parted in the middle or with a wig. 
He likes them black or white or even red. The headless horseman needed a head. You can't reason with a headless man. If you doubt my story is true, I met that spook a year ago. I didn't stop to look at him. I just headed for the bridge that spans the brook. He can't cross the brook. His power ends. So as you're at home tonight, head for the bridge as quick as you can. Because the headless horseman will be in the valley there. He needs your head. Beware. It's midnight as Icky begins his journey home. The stars are not out tonight. The sky is dark with a full moon shining bright. As he approaches the hollow, he becomes more nervous. The next morning, Iggy's hat was found. Close beside it was the shattered pumpkin. Where was Iggy? No one knows. So did you enjoy that? Good. You guys did an awesome job. The more you practice, the better it got. So awesome job. You guys did great. Without you guys and your help with the props and everything, you made it wonderful. Good job. <laughs>